Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a wise old man named Samuel. Samuel was known for his wisdom and his ability to provide guidance to anyone who sought his advice. People from far and wide would visit him to seek his profound wisdom. In the same village lived a young boy named Roger. Roger was troubled due to many of his bad habits, and sometimes he used to put himself into big trouble or confusion because of his wrong habits. Although Roger had many bad habits, one of the biggest and worst among them was that he could not keep any words to himself. Whatever was going on in his mind and heart, he would tell it to everyone. Sometimes, he would even tell his deepest secrets to others, due to which he used to become a laughingstock in his society and village. Because of these habits, Roger had started to become very worried, and at the same time, he had also started staying away from people because he was afraid that he might unknowingly reveal some important things and words to someone which he should not have told. Roger, knowingly or unknowingly, was repeating his same mistake again and again, due to which people had started considering him a foolish person. It is clear that people consider such a person to be an idiot who tells everything about his heart, his mind, and his home to everyone without trusting whether this person will keep his talk to himself or not. Roger had done his best to remove this habit, which forced people to laugh at him. After making so many unsuccessful efforts, now Roger had become very disappointed with his life and became very hopeless. One sunny morning, a close and young friend of Roger came to him and told him about the wise old master. Roger's friend told him that the old master could bring him out of this dilemma and could show Roger a new ray of hope. Roger's friend further says the old wise master is very good at problem solving and guiding others, people troubled by the miseries of life, with his profound wisdom and knowledge. Roger agrees to his friend's advice, and he didn't know that it was the best decision he had ever taken in his whole life. Now Roger, having many troubling questions and thoughts, reached the peaceful cottage where the old wise monk was residing with his disciplined disciples with eternal peace. Now Roger left all of his unimportant work and sets out to seek guidance on how to navigate through life and build strong and unbreakable relationships. Roger was eager to learn from Samuel's wisdom. Samuel, the wise master, guides Roger, a troubled individual, through the challenges of life with patience, compassion, and profound wisdom. When Roger reached the holy cottage of the old monk, he saw the old master dealing with the problems of others. Now was the turn of Roger, and he told everything about his weak character to the master. He told the master how he could not keep his own talks to himself and how he had revealed his dark secrets just because of this bad habit and how this forced people to think of him as a great fool. At first, the wise master begins by listening attentively to the troubled Roger. He creates a safe and non-judgmental space for the person to express his thoughts and emotions. The master empathizes with Roger's struggles, acknowledging his pain and difficulties. This helps Roger feel understood and validated. After this, Samuel, the wise old master, gestures for Roger to sit down near him. The master asks reflective questions to encourage Roger to explore his feelings, thoughts, and the root causes of his troubles. This process promotes self-awareness. Roger says to the master, O oh master, what should I do so that these bad habits of mine go away forever? And then asked him, What are those things that I should never tell anyone, so that people stop thinking of me as a fool? After listening to this, the great master looks deep into his eyes, smiles, and begins to share a motivational story to illustrate his point. He says, In a distant land, there was a young man named Tom who had a habit of sharing all his secrets with his friends. He used to tell everything he had in his mind and heart to everyone whomever he used to meet. He believed that by confiding in them, he could build strong bonds of trust and friendship. However, he soon realized that not everyone he confided in had good intentions. His friends and other people used to make a mockery out of him and called him a fool behind his back. One day, Tom shared his biggest dream with one of his close friends. He told him about his ambition to start his own business and become an entrepreneur. Tom's friends seemed supportive at first, 
but little did Tom know that his friend had his own hidden agenda. Over time, Tom's friends started spreading rumors about Tom's business idea, claiming that it would never succeed and he would be ending up begging in the end. Tom's friend even went as far as stealing Tom's business plan and presenting it as his own to potential investors. Now, Tom's dreams were shattered, and he felt betrayed by someone whom he had considered a close friend of his. Meanwhile, the old wise master stops suddenly and says to Roger, Trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, be it with friends, family, or colleagues. It's a bond that is built slowly over time, but can be shattered in an instant when we place our trust in the wrong hands. Imagine for a moment a friend you've known for years, someone you've laughed with, confided in, and supported through thick and thin. And this friend, whom you believe to be loyal and trustworthy, suddenly betrays you. It could be in the form of a betrayal of a secret, a breach of confidence, or even a deliberate attempt to harm you. The shock and hurt you feel in that moment are immeasurable. Samuel, the old wise man, says to Roger, to save yourself from being betrayed, I will tell you four such things which you must not tell anyone if you want to live peacefully and happily. Not because they are shameful, but because they are your inner treasures, your secrets, and they hold the power to shape your destiny. Roger was intrigued and eagerly asked, What are these four things, Samuel? Please tell me. Samuel, the old master, smiles and begins to share his wisdom. Roger, the first important thing you always have to keep secret is your goals and dreams. Your dreams are fragile, like delicate flowers. When you share them prematurely, others may inadvertently trample upon them with doubt or negativity. Nurture your dreams in silence until they are strong enough to withstand any storm. One more thing, when we tell any of our dreams to a person who does not want our well-being, then he will definitely try to do something so that we are not able to achieve our goal or we deviate from our goal. Therefore, we should never tell our goals to any person, no matter how trustworthy that person is. Roger, the second important thing you never have to tell anyone at any cost is your family conflicts. Every family has its struggles, but airing your family's dirty laundry in public can lead to irreparable damage. Instead, seek solutions within the family circle and preserve the bonds that unite you. We should never tell anyone about the problems and fights going on in our family because in this world, the number of people who keep the house together is very less, whereas the number of people who break the house is very high. One more advantage of not telling the matters of our house to any outsider is that when we tell someone about the problems and mutual disputes happening in our house, then that person takes advantage of it and enters into our family and then he starts making other members of the family fight among themselves. Hence, we should never tell anyone about the internal disputes and fights of our house. Roger, the third important thing you always have to keep secret is your love life. Love is a precious gift, and intimate details of your romantic life are meant for you and your partner alone. Sharing too much can lead to misunderstandings and unnecessary interference. In addition to this, some people may also worry about the potential consequences of sharing their love life with others. For example, if they share intimate details about their relationship, it may be used against them in the future, leading to potential embarrassment or hurt. Therefore, keeping one's love life private can be a way of protecting oneself from potential harm and maintaining control over one's personal information. The fourth thing to always keep secret is our failures. We should never talk about our failures to anyone because it spoils our own image in the eyes of people, and no one will help us in bad times. By telling others about our failures, we will definitely get sympathy from people for some time, but they will only make fun of us behind our back. Therefore, never tell anyone about your failures. Rather, find your shortcomings and work on them to remove them. Roger, always remember that failure introduces us to this world whereas success introduces us to the world. So do not tell your failures to anyone until you become successful. Now the old master says to Roger, these were the four most important things which you never ever have to share with anyone if you are willing to live freely and peacefully. 
Roger learned a valuable lesson from this experience. He realized that not everyone he thought he could trust was truly trustworthy. From that day on, he became cautious about sharing his deepest aspirations and dreams with just anyone. Remember, Roger, trust is precious, and it should be given wisely. Not everyone deserves access to your innermost thoughts and secrets. Choose your confidence carefully and surround yourself with people who genuinely support and uplift you. Roger listened intently to the four important lessons given by Samuel, the old wise monk. Through Samuel's story, Roger realized the importance of guarding certain aspects of his life. He thanked Samuel for his wisdom and vowed to apply these lessons in his own life. And so, Roger left the village with a newfound understanding of the four things that should never be shared without careful consideration. He embarked on his journey, carrying the valuable lessons from Samuel's story, ensuring he would build strong relationships based on trust and discernment. I hope you like this motivational story. If you like this story, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As Roger left the cottage of the old wise master, he carried with him a profound transformation of his character and an invaluable set of life lessons. These lessons were like precious gems that he guarded carefully, understanding the importance of discretion and discernment. Over time, Roger's life began to change in remarkable ways. His journey to self-improvement and personal growth took him on a path where he chose his confidence wisely, ensuring that his dreams, family matters, love life, and failures remained protected from the wrong hands. Roger's reputation in the village and society underwent a significant shift. No longer was he the subject of ridicule and mockery. Instead, he was recognized as a discerning and trustworthy individual who held his inner treasures close. His newfound wisdom had shown him the power of trust and the consequences of sharing one's innermost thoughts and secrets with discretion. The story of Roger became a powerful example for others in the village, illustrating the transformative effect of the lessons from Samuel, the old wise master. Through Roger's experiences, people came to appreciate the importance of guarding certain aspects of their lives to build strong, unbreakable relationships based on trust and discernment. And so, Roger's journey continued, a journey of self-improvement, wisdom, and the realization that the power of discretion and discernment could lead to a life lived freely and peacefully.